Today is Wednesday, it's the following week after Thanksgiving, so it's time to get back into the swing of things and jump back into it. Now, I definitely started before Wednesday, just yesterday. That's the only day I started. But um, as long as I got started and I'm back into it. So we're gonna be doing another What I Eat in a Day on Keto Around here. And for you guys who don't know me and are new to my channel, my name is Mika. We do a little bit of keto, hang with a lot of friends and family, a little turn up here and there, and we just like to have fun around here so welcome you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and share okay you guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started now um, we're gonna start off with pita bread and I have it here this pita bread is uh, let me show you guys six net cars it's really, really good. And I got this recipe from a Danny J TV. Um, she's here on YouTube. You guys should definitely watch her if you're not already. But I take some pita pad bread, mm, three tablespoons of pizza sauce. This is a pizza sauce that I use. Yeah, about three. And I just spread that all over. Expert uh, Jota. Sorry, you guys. Y'all know I have my little one, and she always is in the mix when I'm doing um, videos. So that's who you heard in the background. And I just added a little bit more. So three and a half tablespoons of pizza sauce there. Then of course we got some a mozzarella cheese. Mommy, hmm. Okay, bro. Yeah, so we got some regular, regular mozzarella cheese here. I'm gonna add that to the pizza. As much or as little as you like. Then I cooked up some pork breakfast sausage um, when I made this pizza the first time. So I had that in the refrigerator and then I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on top. Then of course, last but not least, I got some pepperonis that I'm gonna add to the top of that. Now you guys can make your pizza up any type of way. You could do like a barbecue chicken um, pizza. I've did that before and it's delicious. I just don't have any like chicken that I have cooked or anything laying around. So, but I'm definitely going to try that out. And I just take my pepperonis and get them spread out here. All right, and there you have it. There is my little pizza made up and ready to go into my pizza maker. All right, so I have this little pizza maker here um, that I bought one of on one of these Black Friday uh, sales that they had going on. And as you can see, it lets you know, like it has a light indicator, so green is letting me know that it is ready. And then I sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray. And this is what the inside looks like. And then I just take my pizza and I add it um, to the pan. So let me go ahead and get y'all flipped around so y'all can see that. All right. Uh-oh. There we go. Got y'all all set up. They're gonna take the pizza in there, and it goes in there. It just depends on your liking, how long you want it in there. All right, this is what my pizza looks like. 
Okay, so here is the finished pizza. Um, my first time eating for today, so I'm ready to devour. All right, you guys, I wanted to come back really quick because I wanted to tell you the macros on that pizza. Let me check really quick. Hold on. I was starving so much I forgot to um, mention it because it's two, actually it's 250 right now. And like I said, this is my first time eating for the day. So I am literally, literally starving. Okay, so that pizza, one serving size of this pizza is 11 net carbs. Give or take. Because some stuff I put in here, I would just like, let me just do the serving size, whatever it is. And that's how it usually goes. Y'all, excuse those clothes in the back. I'm doing laundry. But that's how it usually goes. Um, it's like give or take, you do the serving size. But I didn't use like a whole serving size. Like a serving size of the cheese is like one fourth cup. And I'm like, I ain't use no one fourth cup of cheese or something like that. But, um, it's 11 net carbs for the whole thing so it might seem like a lot but since it's my first time eating for the day you get 20 net carbs so that leaves me with what nine that i can eat for dinner and i definitely can find something within nine net carbs for eating for dinner so it's pretty good to me i love it yesterday i ate it for dinner as well and i still had like seven carbs remaining for the day so no, four. I, I apologize. I have four remaining for the day because I end up fixing me a um, drink, uh, half and half, unsweetened tea with the zero sugar added Minute Maid lemonade. So, and it took away a little bit of carbs. But yes, so I just wanted to come back really quick, tell you guys that. Um, and then I will see you guys when I come back and make my next meal. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. So, right now, I made it to my mom's house and they are baking sugar cookies so they can decorate for Christmas. And I won't be eating none of that. Let me show you guys what I have really quick. Hold on. Let me find the lights. What I brought to make for um, some desserts. If I can get the bag open. I brought these. The brownie mix. The sugar free brownie mix. And you can see they're keto approved. High fiber. Zero sugar. Gluten free. And only three net carbs. And it's three okay, net guys. I'm not sure what happened. But my camera just cut off. So I wanted to show you the back. So you can see the macros. If it focus here. There we go. So the serving size is one and 16 dry mix. So I'm thinking just one piece. It's going to make a total of 16. So one brownie is going to equal the um, three net carbs. So this is what I will have for dessert while they have um, the sugar cookies. Alrighty. Oh, and I got these from Ma. Where the, what store were we at in... Um, when we went to Richmond that day, oh man. When we went to Costco, that little store that we went to first. Fresh Market. Fresh Market. So I got these from Fresh Market. Braylon. Huh? Oh, you want to talk to the people? Hey, <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get started on our brownies. Okay, now to do that, we need to preheat our Your oven auntie, to 325. Your auntie don't know how to. Uh, combine the brownie it. mix, eggs, and coconut oh, oil and water until well blended. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample phrase. been said many times many ways Merry Christmas to you
tell you guys my mom made baked chicken so this is what I'm going to be eating for the night because I have a headache so I'm going to eat this see how that holds me over my brownies just came out when I come back and uh, cut that I'll show you what they look like but this is actually going to be dinner all right you guys so I got the brownie here it is you can see it it's not focusing there we go so this is what it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and try it I don't know why I'm not oh, there we go oh. Oh, this is good. Oh, for the record, I tasted. I added um some Splenda. I think I, I think that's what my mom had. So I added Splenda to it and a little bit of vanilla because just based off the directions that they had, it was not good. Oh. Um, yeah, it's good, you guys. Just got air or something and finesse it a little bit. Definitely, I would give it an 8 out of 10. It's good.